What's up, guys? It's your boy Souls here. Welcome back to Geometry to the Dizzle Dash. You already know. Now, 2.2 is on the horizon. We are in the month of June. My my phone got possessed for a second. Hold on. We are in the month of June, and I'm still working on the Airborne Robot remake. Yeah, we're we're finishing it before 2.2 comes out. I have a deep feeling it's coming either this month or next month. So we gotta get her done. So as you may see, I have been working slightly on the robot part on from the last episode. And I didn't I did say that the next time we will meet each other is when I finally finish the second part of the level that I just didn't finish in the first episode. I finally finished it and it looks a little bit different from the original one. Now I know what you guys are saying. Why do you make why did you make it look so similar to the beginning? I read a couple of comments in regards to the level and I kind of took it to heart a little bit. A couple of people said the level didn't really feel like airborne robots. So I kind of internalized that, if you know. What does that even mean? And it's actually pretty fun, as you can tell I used a lot of triggers for a couple of small effects just to make this part feel a lot more alive. Got a little bit of movement here. I guess I'll show it in the showcase at the end of the video. But yeah, you know, I, I just added a couple of things here, some glow, some different gameplay, and it feels a lot more natural to play now, right? Now, obviously, this part right here is a bit of an outlier. I'm not sure if I want to keep this part or not, because as you can tell, um, I did start working on it a bit more off camera. As you can tell, the ball part finally has its block design, and it has a direction to go in, right? And even this part I started working on as well. But I feel like this part is an outlier. I might change it. I might not change it. Let me know in the comment section. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing the ball part. Then I might either continue going on to this part right here. Or I might go back and I'll probably start on this part right here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just get started. Now, I would probably say so far, gameplay wise, the ball part right here is probably my favorite. Not because of this little first section, but because of this second section. So what the second section, second section does, you may have noticed that I actually have some touch triggers right here, right? So, well, some touch orbs, I mean. And what you happens is like these are rotating in a certain direction, and when you hit this, this goes in the opposite direction, so you can actually pass it. I guess I can play it. Yeah, how about instead of telling, how about you show it, soul? So as you can tell here, you know, got the little teleport stuff. I wanted to implement touch orbs a little bit more in the level. So that's why I have that part, you know? Now as far as decoration goes, all I can really think of is these little buggers right here. These little connector, wow. So I guess we can just leave this part open since if you miss the portal, you'll just run into this. So we'll put some like spikes at the top right here. All right, how does the gameplay for this part go? I know it's going straight down, but I forget when I click here. I will got to click the orb first. Okay, so I guess I can put a spike here. No, well, uh, you know, I think I'm just going to leave it alone. How about I just leave it alone? Don't put a spike there. Yes, yeah, possible. Why am I so bad at this game? The part I really want to get my teeth into is these gears right here i want to make i want to go ahead and make my custom gears i need these gears to go on top of the block design like straight up on top that way we don't have any layering issues because if we have layering issues their level looks bad and we're not trying to do that today so i need to get the big big chunkus let's change that we're gonna put them on t1 eh, 10 the circle on top is going to be on t o t111 it's gonna be pure black and it's gonna be right on top of the gear like this um i guess right here is i can just keep it as the object color but i don't want it as the default i want to like straight up make it the object color right but if i did i never make an object color okay i did it's color 79 that's my bad i just can't see keeping it simple like that makes it look really good but i don't think i don't keep things simple over here at the souls channel bro is it, is it cool <laughs> it's pretty decent you know it's not it's not breaking any records okay so y'all are in group 19 and this bad boy is going to be in group 20 and we might as well be a little bit extra might as well utilize groups i'm i think i'm using too many groups in this level already can you stop selecting this okay there we go okay it started off at 270 then you go to the next one okay 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 Ooh, that makes it look really cool okay it's not broken okay i'm happy <gasps> oh, it sinks! It sinked! I didn't even mean to do that, but it sinks! Oh, I'm so happy I did that. I'm actually really happy that sinks. 
<laughs> oh, I'm so happy it does. Nice, nice, nice. And I think I need to copy paste it one less time. I do. Boom. Oh, that's so good, dude. I'm so happy that I'm so happy that came out good. I'm super duper happy that came out good. You know, I do want to add a quick little effect. So it is going to be this bad boy right here. I hope if I did my color coordination right. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I need you, 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 you. Yes, you. Okay. Me, me and you. I don't think that's going to reach. All right, this is going to be a little bit janky for an effect, but I think it's still going to look good. I think that reaches just like, nope, not exactly. Very intense lightning bolt. <laughs> so we're going to put this in group 275, right? Um, and we're going to alpha 275. Boop, boop. Okay, if I'm going to do this effect, I'm going to have to work with sub spawn triggers. Okay, 275, reduce. It's going to fade out. Point spawn triggered. And this is going to be in group 276. Spawn group 276. Spawn triggered after point 10 seconds, I guess. Point 10 seconds, I think, should be good. A lot of explaining in like two seconds. Okay, please work. <gasps> How does that look in game, though? That actually looks. That looks freaking dope! Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm happy. I'm really happy I did this effect. I'm doing it, I'm gonna do it again. That actually looks really cool. That looks really cool. That should just work flawlessly. Like, not a single issue should occur. Not, not even one, not even one. Except for my utter lack of skill in this video game. I'm actually really happy that works. Okay, um, I guess the next easiest thing to work on now is orb decoration. So I might as well Go ahead and do that. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> do I not like orb decoration? I guess not. I think a lot of things are going to get popularized in 2.2. Just purely because of platform remote alone. But, you know, we're not in 2.2 yet. So, keep dreaming. I mean, I guess I can put gears. I, I need to put some air deco for gears right here. Since I already made them. Um, and we'll scooch a boop all the way over here. Oh, this is a lot of clicking. I probably should have used free move instead. I Man, I guess I could put. I could put. I feel like this. The the transparent gears are the gears in the ground for me. I feel like the. Mm, I don't know if I want to put the dragons here. I feel like I'm gonna put the other spiky guys. Yeah. See, those fit way better. These fit way better than the actual like dragon dragons. The dragon dragons. But I really need something in the background. We're just gonna do everybody a favor. And delete that okay so what if I do this then I copy paste all of you use my little scale mod then go in like a tic-tac-toe pattern ooh okay ooh, 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 ooh boy okay hold on hold on I'm I'm cooking oh Oh, hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. I wasn't, I, I mean, I was trying to make a background, but I wasn't expecting this. You know what? I'm going to embrace my messy style because I think that's just how I build best. You know, I don't build like other creators. I build like Mr. Souls on the mic. That's who I, that's how I build. I think really all I need to do now is actual like air deco, such as arrows and pulsing things, right? That doesn't take up too much space, does it? It doesn't make it look awkward, right? Let's see. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not bad. Do I not have like a darkish red-ish color? Hold on. Okay, color two, you are officially my darkish reddish color. Okay, so since I'm going to be doing decoration and that's going to be like a pretty simple thing to do, I think now I'm going to work on some pulses for the part to make this part look really cool. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. I know this wasn't a very long episode, but I did want to just uh, revive the, the the way I forgot to change the 
freaking color. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I am going to end the video here. Ha! Psych! No, you're not. Guys, remember when I said I was just going to finish the ball part for this episode and I'll see you guys next time? Well, I decided the episode was a little bit too short. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be starting on the connector piece between the part that we left off on to the ball part. That way we only have... Uh, about 46% to the end to go. So I feel like that'll be like a pretty good progress jump. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Okay, so um, I did actually end up finishing the little robot part off camera. I wanted to like bring back the water part that I cut from the level. So I kind of implemented it and fused it into this part. As you can tell, I put these like low, not really low opacity, but these little, oh, basically it's glass that has waterfalls going down in them, right? Because I've already had the pipes and the water down here on the ground spikes. So I kind of wanted to implement that in the background. That way I can fill up space. So I gave them a nice little drop shadow. I, and as you can tell, I added the gears as well, a couple other pieces of decoration. And I fixed up the gameplay here at this part because the black orb was kind of skippable. So I kind of I kind of fixed that skippable skippable issue. So now we are finally going to at least start on this part, right? So we can at least get some type of progress on the level. And we might finish up the transition. I might finish the transition up off, off camera. We'll, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Let's let's just let's get started. <laughs> so I need the construction blocks because I kind of want to base this off of the build up that Rob Top was already doing in the level. So with Rob Top, when he was doing the build up to the drop for the ball the construction blocks were like really colorful right so i guess i want to reflect that into this part actually matter of fact well, let me go back and see what he does for his little build up real quick so yeah for like so for the beginning part of airborne robots it was a white object color with the blue and the purple you know pretty simple colors with a little pulse effect but then it gets really intense so now like the object color matches the color one now right and makes it look really cool and intense with these pulses. Oh man, oh okay. yeah, oh yeah, I got I got a couple of ideas for the pulsing now. I want it to be like a somewhat brightish blue, and I want the object color to copy uh, color one. There we go. Beautiful start already. Beautiful start. Good job on the on the pitch soles. I love it. Okay, so I guess first thing is I need to fill in this little part. What I probably want to do is I'm gonna put a variety of these bad boys all throughout the block design and like so it's not just like one simple construction block because i re i rarely like use blocks like these right well like these variants so i, I kind of want to use them more and i guess i can make color nine i can make color nine that color that kind of copy copies the color of the background so and i can have that as like the filler block inside of here i don't know if i want to do a traditional gradient or the alpha gradient that i did for the, the this part because this part does look oh I, I really want to redo what I did here because it looks so good dude. Oh, I got so many ideas I want to do with this. Okay, so let's just start with the pulsing effect first. I do I do I want to do the pulsing effect first. Oh, for a build up, I think I want to keep it like this cuz that looks super dope. This might be just adding a little bit too much sauce to the souls. But you know what? I kind of want to do it. I kind of want to do a black gradient on top of the block design. I don't know why I do this with a lot of my block designs. It just feels right to me. I just like the little gradient down. Only because I don't have the gradient trigger to do it, right? I'll work on this transition off camera. Like, there's going to be like a small little effect that I'll do here, right? Oh, I guess I can go ahead and work on the spikes. You know, the spikes. I've really been loving these little mini spikes. I wish we had more of these, right? Because these actually look really good. Really good. For no reason. Like, Rob Top, you popped off with these spikes for absolutely no reason. I can't understand why. Anyway, and of course, you best believe I'm putting 3D on this. You you should have known that by now, bro. Yeah, that's not a bad pulse, actually. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. The block design's actually coming together pretty nice. This, is, this art's already becoming pretty good. Pretty good. I just need some decoration that I want to put on top of the block design. I've already used these little connector pieces, so I want to see if a different one will look any better so let's do some little bit of experimentation shall we it looks bad but i just need to do something with the pipes on on top of the block right so what if i what if i what if i put these things on there let's just, let's experiment a little bit what oh okay 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 we can do something like this and then put these little rotated cubes on top of this oh that looks 
Ooh, could try these small little pixel blocks, put these on top, and I can have these, eh, I think those are too big, yeah, they're too big. Ooh, what if I embrace the big, embrace the big by doing this, so put this right here, put that on top of this by putting this on like three, that's not on top, what layer are you actually, heck? Oh, you're T19? Okay, well, I'll put you on T110. That does add on to the block design really nicely. That really does. I, ooh. All right, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to apply the block design to all of the blocks all the way up to here, and then I think I'll call it an episode. Wow, the progress we made is absolutely beautiful, so I guess I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am going to end the episode right here. I did end up running out of time because I do want to get this video out today, but I'm, I'm running out of time, so I got to wrap this up real quick. So thank you all so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more, and if you're ready for episode five, I'm going to need 300 likes. Yeah, I said it. But anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, and this has been your boy souls and i will see you guys next time later Whew, i'm finally making progress on this freaking level